Hey guys, Sword here, and here's another commentary from me. I honestly still love making commentaries, even though I don't do it as frequently as other people do it. I probably even do it more than other people do it. <laughs> that did not sound right, I'm sorry. But anyways, this is a commentary of me using Steady Hand with a KSG-12. And I'm not using my normal setup of Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Stalker. I'm using Marathon Pro, Assassin Pro, and Steady Aim Pro. I want to get the challenges done to level up faster. You'll see that I'm going to be level 60 at the end of this video right now. As you see it, I'm level 59. I'm going to get to 60 in this round, and I'll be happy, and yada yada yada. There'll be another 21 more levels to go, because that experience from level 80 to prestige, I count that as a level, and it should be counted as a level, and not many people actually do. And as you can see that I'm using steady aim so I can get that challenge done, get that free 10, 20,000 experience when you get from to level 5 and level 6, so it'd be great for me, especially when you get that runner's high where you uh, um, kill an enemy after you stop sprinting. That's one of the things that helps me level up a lot. But using the KSG-12, it's one of the more harder guns to use. Any other shotgun I could do great at, but the KSG-12, I don't know if it's either the level or the lag that I'm having, but it seems like I'm not actually doing as great as I would with any other shotgun. I'm already done with the uh, USAS-12, and I was kind of disappointed because I accidentally got that uh, 20... Uh, 2,500th kill, 2,500 kills. I accidentally got that. I was I wanted to save that for a next prestige or 10th prestige even, but I accidentally got it, which kind of made me aggravated on um, the other night because I spent so much time trying to not get overkill with that, but I accidentally get it because I wasn't keeping track of my kills because I was having a conversation with your friend. Because whenever you have a conversation with your friend, you would not be um, paying attention much to the score as you normally would. That's just me. I don't know if, if you guys have the same problems I do. Like, you don't pay attention to what's going on because you're talking with your friend. But that's the thing that happened to me. So I'm kind of disappointed in myself for allowing that to happen. But at the same time, it's, st it's just it's still a game. It's just a game in the end. You don't need to get, you know, get too um, fussy all over it. But, yeah, I didn't even run. I just stood there because I knew that I was going to die of that Predator missile. But until then... I still continue on with my rushing tactics. I love rushing. I don't care about camping as much. And I don't care about my KD ratio. Even though it does go higher every round. Because apparently I still get more kills over deaths overall. And it's pretty much at that 75%. But yeah. I, I don't see that having a high kill death ratio makes you any good. That's just my opinion. You can argue if you want. But in all honesty it just shows that you don't die as much as other people do. Uh, do. I thought I got that kill, but apparently um, the enemy, no, the team, me behind me, got that kill, and that was that was that was totally unfair. But what I did notice that uh, Microbio, don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but he runs around after using an assault rifle. He goes running around with a USAS 12, and he does kill me a couple times. I'm not sure if it's that to spite me for using a shotgun or spite anyone else. But if you're gonna teach someone a lesson, use the same gun as they um, are using and use it against them. Don't use a stronger gun. Don't use any other gun. Just use the same gun as the person you're trying to tick off is using. That's just me. Because honestly, if you if I'm using the KSG-12 on you and I kill you so many times, and you go back and get a striker and kill me so many times, that doesn't prove anything. You're just using a better gun against me. But again, that's my opinion. I'm not sure if he's trying to uh, annoy me or trying to annoy other people because the shotguns is one of the more annoying guns you can use in a game. I, look at that, Steady Aim Pro 5. But yes, it is one of the more annoying games, or sorry, guns you can use in a game against someone. I see so many people rage against the striker, even though it has been nerfed. But the fact that you could still fast to shoot. I just messed that up. You can shoot as fast as you could normally would without uh, before the patch, anyways. So that's one of the more annoying things. It's still, it's not as powerful as it would be like a one or two or two hit kills. As I heard that you have to shoot three times or four times to kill a person, but even then, the fast fire rate itself makes up for it. So it look, it's like it didn't really do much at all. 
But that's me. I haven't really haven't used a striker yet because it's at 999 kills, and I want to get that thousand thousand kill. Some of the words I cannot pronounce. I need to work on that. And I am working on the avoiding the sentence fillers that I told you about in my other commentary. I think I've only said uh twice. I'm not counting this one because I didn't say it. Um, and okay, there you go. I, third time. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm working on. I'm working on that. I'm. I'm probably not even counting the ones I have said because it doesn't sound like I said it. But I think I did say it three times so far. If you guys are actually counting, um, number four. Oh great! Now I'm thinking about it. I. I should not think about it. So continuing on with the uh, commentary, apparently that I'm trying to get across, but I got distracted because I always get sidetracked. Some of the things that. Uh, I got killed from seems like it's a bit of a lag, but there's looks like the lag compensation is making up for it. Apparently, they're they're still trying to. Where really? I always do that. Okay. All right then. It's apparently that I'm 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 just I'm losing my track of mind right now. Okay, that's a, this is embarrassing. I have I completely lost what I was gonna say. Well, the lag compensation. That's one of the things that I'm um, trying. Infinity Ward is trying to do is that everybody is not like the lag where a person gets host advantage. So Infinity Ward decides to um trying to make it better for everybody. But in doing so, it I don't know whether it made it worse because I haven't really truly experienced it or that. There's some glitches going on that I heard that people are getting a little bit of invincibility. But either way, I have not experienced that invincibility glitch yet. So I'm thinking that they um, fixed it um, somewhere along the lines. I knew I was going to die there, so I was going to say, hey, go kill me, because I'm going to go get you back with my stealth bomber and get a little triple kill. I always go to sidetrack. I don't even know what if I ever actually made any sense throughout the whole video. I'm still trying to get better. It's that whenever I try, when I think about it, it does not form, or I cannot form the words I want to say in the commentary. So it's one of those things I still need to work on, but I am tr getting better because I've only only like made a few pauses and few sense or several sense fillers, but not as much as my other commentary. So I'm gonna work on that, and if you guys notice, please comment below. But other than that, it's the end of the game. I did a, I did well, so I'm gonna say this. With that being said, I'm Sorkin09. Have a nice day, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.